Hi YouTube, it's Catherine Michelle. Um, today we're going to talk about um, the body positions in relation to item 57 and the wound on David's head. Um, Sophia has been covering this a lot on the uh, Justice for David Crowley and Family page. And as I was helping her with some of this and going over, you know, what was where and how it correlated with the other position. Again, as always, things in this case just didn't add up. So we're gonna draw it out on, on the paper for you to see exactly. Um, I'm taking everything from the reports. This is their hand drawing. These are written notes. And then finally, from the BCA report. So first of all, let's start with the drawing. And obviously this is not to scale. So we have north, south, east, and west. And here, the body positions, as you will see, this is um, David, Kamel, and Rania. Now, in all of the reports, it states that David was positioned um, He's on his back with his arms fully extended, and we all know that, fully extended. Um, and his feet are northwest, and his head area to the southeast. I think if we can get that close, you can see that. Now, this drawing roughly represents that, so we'll kind of go ahead and do this. This, And I'll do stick figures. So we have David's missing head, so obviously we just have feet. So here's north, here's west, here's going south, and then his arms fully extended, missing the head. Here's where his head should have been. And now we have um, Kamel. They show Kamel as being and I will show this to you as well. Her head, well, I'll just, it's this area right there in purple. And it says her head area is northwest and her feet are southeast. So now her body's lying in the exact opposite position of David's. Of course, this couch actually comes out more. We'll make this the cushions. Because her head in the photo actually shows where her head should have been was actually very close to here. So where her head should have been would have been like right here. And here are her feet. And then this one has the arm under her body. Now remember, this is under her body from her left under going up toward the right. Hand is missing as well. Again, how the dog ate a hand from underneath her body. Paleo was a magician. Gotta love that dog. And then Rania, in one of the first photos that they show, Again, one of those slip-up photos that they let out was um, you see as they're coming through the front door of the photo um, and you see Kamel lying on her stomach, her legs are spread, and then Rania is between her legs. And you can see that it's between. And yet these photos here and their little description show it as her being, oh wait, no, just like this, I'm sorry, just like this is, is how the original photo shows. But the rest of the photos, they show her lying on top of her mother's legs. Now we know that's not true because the photo evidence proves that not to be true. Uh, okay, sorry. Now, so, and we know Rania is here. And then her little arm is over there. Okay, so we have Kamel's head in the northwestern position and David's head in the southeastern position. Here's the east wall over here. We have the front window over here. Here's the kitchen area, again, north, south, east, west. Now, a month later, a bullet was found above this east wall is going to be somewhere over here in the ceiling area is where item 57 is going to be located in the attic. Okay, so here's the, say, let's say here's the front door. I guess it, it swings 
in this way. I forget how they do all that, I'm doing it backwards, but. Um, so the front door swings in, and here is like, say, the light over the front entryway in the ceiling. And somewhere over here is going to be like the hole. Now, mind you, his head is facing this way. Here's the thing in the window, I mean, in, in the ceiling. We've got the bullet hole going that way. I'm use a different color to help emphasize this. His head position is this way. We've got the bullet entry room in, entry into the ceiling over here. Now, where David's head should have been, there was a little bit left. We know that the exit wound was. Let me find that. I, if I believe correctly, it was. on let me find that okay I wanted to go and pull up his autopsy report so you guys can see it for yourself and here areas in purple concentrate on that and it says that the exit wound <clears throat> is the left parietal bone with external beveling so the external beveling means where it came the projectile came out of his head this would be his right side, where there was the entrance was somewhere over here. The bullet exited from this part of his head over here. His head is facing this direction. <laughs> the ceiling entryway is that way. The exit wound is this way, near the front window. Are we beginning to see the problem here? And uh, this is, again, one of the many reasons why, according to their documents, not anything anyone else has conjured up by the documents, by the written reports, by the photographs, and by the evidence, it proves beyond a shadow of a doubt, and without question, David did not shoot himself. Now, mind you, the gun is also down here. The reports state anywhere from a few inches to a foot, to a few inches to a foot, on David's left hand side. He's right handed, his right hand is missing. He's, and it's on the left hand side, down here. We have an, the entry is this way somewhere, somewhere over here on his head. Exits here. Okay, I, I hope you guys are getting this. They're trying to help, they're trying to get you guys to believe that he was standing shot himself <laughs> in the right side, it exited the left, he fell like this with his clothes being pulled part way up as well as Rania's clothes. Now we know her pants, um, her sweatpants were pulled part way down in the back but all the way up in the front. That is usually indicative of dragging a body, like you're dragging someone, so the pants and the clothes either pull down or whatever. Same with David. Um, so he gets shot over on the right. It exits to the left, which would be this way. Here's the entrance to the ceiling. And it ends up somewhere mysteriously a month later. Nobody saw it by the front door, which it was then at one point when they came back the month later. Their, their words, their exact words were an obvious defect in the ceiling. So I don't believe for one moment that they were there for 12, 13 hours and no one saw, recorded, or documented that hole in any of the reports that we have. So, you guys want me to believe that this wasn't a cover-up? Well, however the cover-up may be, was it due to his writing? Was it due to the fact that it was just really shoddy police work? Or is there something else? Is there something more nefarious? I don't know. All I know is the evidence is saying the bullet could not have exited his left side. His body could not be facing toward his head toward the south um, east direction. And the bullet entryway into the attic, they, is, they say, is from a west to east entrance. How does that happen, Apple Valley? How? Explain it. 
Your math doesn't add up. Anybody else? <laughs> so I, I'm hoping that this will explain it better and that you guys can get a better understanding why it is impossible for David to have shot himself in the head. Again, Kamel, and most of her head, now mind you, was missing. And here is the couch cushion, and here is where her head should have been. So you know that if her head had been there when she was placed there, which they're blaming on dog scavenging, there's just no way because this part of her head that's missing or maybe this this portion of it what's left here by the edge of the couch is basically roughly where the mouth is and then they expect you to believe that a dog got in there and forced his way down into this really weird awkward position to eat the head and just the face but yet the back of her head's still there same with david and Rania, whose abdomen was clearly exposed and completely exposed, that a dog would choose, would eat hard heads, necks that it can't even get to, a hand it can't get to, it's gonna eat all of that, and not an exposed abdomen on a child. One last time, west wall, east wall, kitchen was to the north, front window to the south, his body heading this direction, the gunshot wound going this direction. The bullet entrance into the attic was this direction. You messed up again. <laughs>